Hi, I'm Kruno. Thanks for watching ePlan Essentials. Are you an industrial controls panel builder? And do you still use tools like Excel to calculate your total power dissipation? In today's video, I'm going to show you an easier way to calculate the power dissipation and display graphically where the hotspots in your enclosure are. All right, so we are designing our industrial control panel and are now done with the placements of the components and would like to know what the total power dissipation of this enclosure is. So typically, um, or often, customer would have a VOM in Excel, summarize the components, have then an approximate power dissipation value for the enclosure, add a safety margin of 15 to 20 percent and purchase the next bigger cooling component what this does typically for you is that you are oversizing a cooling component that means first you're paying more for the cooling component then the cooling component is running in standby that means it constantly turns on and off that means it costs you more and the last thing is through the turning on and off, the lifespan of the component is shorter. So why not calculate the power dissipation proper and select the right cooling components therefore? And in this video, I'm going to show you in two steps how you can utilize that. The first step will be how to calculate the total power dissipation proper in ePlan, as well as how to display the hotspots. And the second step will be specific for retail cooling components out of the ePlan data portal, how to confirm that your enclosure is cooled properly. Okay, so first things first, um, what you can do in ePlan after you have done your placement, we can, for instance, go here on the mounting panel, go to the view front side and click on this button here, which is power dissipation density. So power dissipation density is now showing you where the hotspots in your enclosure are. So you can see clearly marked. Uh, the color changes then from light blue, which is uh, not getting hot at all, over yellow, orange to red, where your hot components are, right? So that means you can very easily identify the area which definitely needs to be climatized in order to keep the lifespan of the components as long as possible, right? So in our case, it will be this area needs to be climatized, okay? So what do you now need in ePlan to display this functionality like this, okay? So the first thing is in the master data and the management, you will need in your properties of your components for instance, here on the protection device, circuit breaker, present circuit breaker. In the properties, we will type here in power and search for the property maximum power dissipation. So this is the value here, six watt in this case, for the circuit breaker. So make sure that all of your components which we are using have this property filled. Okay. So that's the first setting the maximum power dissipation. The second setting is a project setting, which we can find under File, Information, Properties. And as you see here, ePlan has a lot of project-related properties. We can either now search here for the properties which we need, or we could filter by going to Category, Thermal Design. So ePlan has prepared a special filter already for us. And here you can see now thermal design frequency, simultaneity factor, and voltage. Frequency and voltage are self explaining. The simultaneity factor is a number between 0 and 1, where 1 stands for 100% of the components in the enclosure are powered at the same time. If 80% will be the case in, for your calculation, then you will need to enter simultaneity factor of 0 0.8. 
And then you see here, total power dissipation, air conditioning field one, two, three. In this case, you can have up to 100 air conditioning fields in your um, project. This is empty because we would like to calculate it in our example. So that's the second setting, which are the project related settings where you need to enter the frequency, simultaneity vector, and voltage. And lastly, we will need to define the enclosure situation. So we will go here in the layout space under enclosure, right mouse click properties. And here again, you have a lot of properties and you could filter under all categories to thermal design. And here we will define what air conditioning field is the enclosure in and what is the installation situation and what is the minimum and maximum internal and external temperature. So air conditioning field here, thermal design installation situation. So as you see, uh, you have various possible installation situations. Uh, why is this important? Because of depending on how the enclosure is installed, you have more or less surfaces where the heat can dissipate. And then you see the minimum and maximum internal and external temperature. It's important that you here enter the value of the temperature. If you are just entering the number, then it will calculate with degree Kelvin. And yeah, so typically I would enter here at a degree Celsius or Fahrenheit. Okay, and that's the third thing. If you have done, the three things that means in master data entering the value in the project settings entering the frequency simultaneity vector and uh, defining in the in the layout space the installation situation then you will be able to display this phase so this is a, that's a pretty cool functionality to display where the hotspots are but we would like now to calculate the power dissipation for this enclosure and for this we will go to tools and here under generate project reports we can press the arrow down and select calculate total power dissipation and people knows that i'm in this enclosure so it says air conditioning field one if i would like to calculate for multiple air conditioning fields at the same time the calculation you could select here display all the air conditioning fields and then you can activate those in our case, air conditioning field one is the only one we need, and we will press OK. This automatically calculated a proper power dissipation for our enclosures. And we can now go under File, Information, Properties, and we'll see this is the value which was calculated. So now we can take this value and go to, for instance, Retail and in the selector for the cooling unit, select the right components and place it in program or order it. Okay. So that was the first part of the video. In the second part, I'm going to show you how to use Rital cooling components out of the ePlan data portal to display if the enclosure is optimally climatized. For this, we will select the whole enclosure. and insert the cooling components, right? I'm gonna insert it on the side panel. I prepare it here under favorites, just by drag and drop placing the cooling component. Now let's place it with a slight offset. And the drilling pattern. So, the functionalities which you now have available are airflow direction, which I already clicked here, where you can see where hot air intake and cold air is flowing in the enclosure. So that suggests us that there will be a circulation of air like this. The second thing what you can display is airflow specific reserved areas. So airflow specific reserved areas tells us in which areas you should not place any components to make sure that there is a proper air circulation. And the third thing which you can display 
is the optimally air conditioned areas. So if we click here on optimally air conditioned areas, then we will see to our surprise, the majority of the enclosures is climatized, but not everything. There is a simple solution to climatize the whole enclosure, and that will be adding some accessories, like for instance, this air diverter. So if I select this air diverter here, and place it on the mounting point here, you will see suddenly the airflow direction goes down. As you see here, the airflow direction goes down and the whole enclosure is climatized. So this was an example how to use the functionality called thermal design integration in ePlan to calculate uh, the total power dissipation as well as display if your whole enclosure is climatized. This wraps up today's ePlan Essentials video. If you find the content beneficial, please make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel, and share it in your community. Also, let me know in the comments below which other content you would like to see soon on the ePlan Essentials channel. Until the next time, Uncle Kruno signed out.